One of the hot new travel trends is planning a vacation that combines outdoor adventure with sophisticated cultural events. And joining us today is travel expert Jennifer Weatherhead, who is in beautiful Denver to share why the Mile High City is the perfect vacation destination to take advantage of. Good morning, Jennifer. Hi, good morning. Thanks for having me. Oh, thanks so much for being with us. I was letting you know before we came on that my nephew lives in Denver and I've been there for a quick super work trip, so I don't feel like it counts. So tell me about the trends of vacationers really seeking really that urban and outdoor experience vibe. Yeah, so I've traveled all around the world and some destinations really do have it all. And that's why I love Denver so much because you really don't have to choose between that Michelin dining experience plus an exhilarating day mountain bike hiking Denver really has the best of both worlds so when visitors come here they'll experience award-winning dining unique boutique hotels Broadway musicals blockbuster art exhibitions and more and it's all within a short drive of those endless Rocky Mountain outdoor adventures it really is beautiful you know Jennifer tell us like any one of our viewers that are looking what are some like can't miss Denver activities to keep in mind while they're planning their next trip yeah, so I always tell people that a trip to Denver is not complete until you see a show at the Red Rocks Amphitheater. In fact, I'm going to go there on Sunday and see Nas performing with the Colorado Symphony. I'm so excited. It's a one-of-a-kind concert venue, and it's just a short drive from Denver. You can even catch a shuttle from the city and not have to worry about driving or parking. And the summer lineup here is full of incredible headlining shows. Plus, they also show films here. So sometimes you'll see Wizard of Oz and Shrek, and on Saturday morning, they even do yoga on the rocks. I've done that as well. And then when you go into downtown Denver, you don't want to miss the brand new immersive art experiences that they have here at the Denver Center of Performing Arts. There's a wide range of art styles and regions at the Denver Art Museum, or you can even soak in the season and be outside and admi admire the outdoor mural art in neighborhoods like River North, also known as Rhino. Highly recommend doing that as well. Now, all of those look amazing. And tell me about the food in Denver. You know, what can people expect. I mean, I always make food a top priority when I'm traveling, and that's one of the reasons why I love Denver so much, because they have 26 Michelin-recognized restaurants, and they're home to the recently named James Beard Outstanding Restaurateur of the Year winner. So Denver is that perfect destination for foodies, no matter what their tastes are. That's great. And you know, Jennifer, tell me too about families. Are there a lot of family activities that you could do together in Denver? Yeah, so Denver has a lot to offer in this department, and I am here right now at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. It's the perfect place to start because it has the best city. In fact, the museum just debuted a rare teen T-Rex. It was found by three kids on a hike with their family, so it's an incredible adventure. Plus, there are lots of other things that you can do downtown as well. There's the Colorado History Museum, the Denver Zoo, Meow Wolf, and the Children's Museum, plus a lot of free activities like hiking near or around Red Rocks Park, touring the Colorado State Capitol, or you can visit the famous Hammond's uh, candy factory. Oh, so much to do. Jennifer, thank you so much for giving us a nice sneak peek of what you can do in Denver. Definitely want to book those trips and you can find more about what there is to do in Denver right over at our own website, roadshow.com.